Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. Alright, so we're going to get some quick messages today. Get some messages from the person that is on your mind. We want to know how this person feels about you. What's their vibe, okay? And then depending upon what comes out, we may see how you feel about them, okay? Alright, so let's see. Give me messages regarding Virgo's person. The person that Virgo is thinking about. How do they truly feel about Virgo? Momo, out. Go. Go. Go on. You hear sound like tea biscuit. Alright, so let's see. Give me messages regarding Virgo's person. What is their true authentic feelings? What do they want Virgo to know that they haven't told them? Alright, give me messages. Oh, okay. I'm going to take this one, but I'm going to put it back. All right, showing out. I'm acting like I don't care about what happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered, okay? So somebody is acting like they can give two lefts, okay? But in actuality, this person is possibly hurting on the inside, okay, Virgo? All right, give me three messages from Virgo's person. How do they truly feel? What do they want Virgo to know that they are not telling Virgo? Give me messages regarding Virgo's person. Virgo, your person feels like you are very mysterious. Alright? It says, I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know who, I'm um, sorry, never really know where I stand with you. Alright, this isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's best for, but it is best for me. And us right now. This isn't goodbye. We will be together again soon. And I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to hurry up. I got to start working, man. All right. So it says, my fantasy. You are my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you. Mm, have a bye. <laughs> and use them for inspiration. I want you. Okay. Te quiero mucho. Okay. All right. Te quiero mucho. Mm. All right, so it says, unblock me. I miss you. I want to connect. Please unblock me, literally, or energetically, okay? So we can speak. I have a lot to say. All right, so, Virgo, looks like somebody got something they want to tell you, okay? You are their fantasy. They think about you all the time. You are their muse, all right? Their inspiration in certain areas. There's that. And this person feels that they don't really know you, okay? Um, don't know what's up with that. I don't know if this person was playing games with you or maybe are you feeling this person? What's going on? I don't know. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Give me messages here. Somebody was playing hard to get. They were possibly playing, you know, playing games with you, acting like you didn't matter. And you possibly got tired of this person and walked away. And now they're like, oh my God, where is Virgo? I was just playing. I'm in love with you, and I'm ready to take action. I want to build a beautiful life with you. Okay, Virgo, what you do? You got somebody hooked? All right, let's see. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? Okay, so some of you might be dealing with somebody uh, with a Leo in their chart here. All right, Leo got some of these same cards here as well, okay? So it says, I'm feeling lost and I don't know what to do about it. All right, and give me one more. This person doesn't know what to do, don't know what to say, don't know how to come back towards you here. This person could have did something that was irreparable, okay? I don't know, or so they feel. My heart keeps coming back to you even though I know you've lost faith in me. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, all right? Let's see. I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. All right. So it kind of seems like to me that the breakup might be this person's fault. It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. Okay. So somebody is, is like, you know, seriously wanting to come towards you here, sweetheart. All right. Um, if somebody knows that they screwed up. They don't know if they waited too long to come back towards you here, sweetheart. But somebody is like, you know what, Virgo? I need for you to know. All right? I need for you to know. Virgo, how do you feel about this person? And then we're going to get some messages um, from both of you back and forth. Or see what comes out. How does Virgo feel about this person? Give me three, please. What does Virgo want this person to know? All right, honest messages. My heart is yearning for you, so both of you guys feel the same way. All right. 
Maybe this break is for a good reason. Maybe this time apart will help us come back together. Possibly. It looks like sometimes that happens. Sometimes when you break up with people, uh, sometimes you really realize that, you know, that person brought a lot of value in your life. And that person, you know, is the love of your life here sometimes, you know. And sometimes you're able to get that person back, you know, especially if you, you know, change behavior and showing that person that you value the connection, okay? Don't take people for granted. You'll end up mo losing a real one, all right? Look at this, all right? So, Virgo, you got mixed signals here, okay? Your heart is yearning for this person. You do want to come back together with this person, but you're not ready to settle down, okay? Okay? Maybe it's the fact that things are up in the air with this person. You're not sure if you can, you know, if this is a type of person that you could actually grow with, have a family with, combine finances with, build property or, or purchase property together, okay? Someone may have showed you that they were inconsistent, could have been a bit irresponsible with the connection. So you might be like, you know what? I miss you. I want to spend time with you. Uh, maybe we need to go back or go our separate ways. Reevaluate this connection to see, you know, what is it that is actually attracting us to each other? Is it love? Is it lust? I don't know. Is it just, you know, fantasy? Whatever it is. But we need to figure that out, okay? I do want to come back uh, towards you, but I'm not really ready to settle down yet. I'm not sure if it's safe to do this with you, okay? But let's see where this goes. Ooh. Okay. All right, sorry you guys. All right, so let's see. I know I keep giving you mixed signals. I know I can be hot and cold. See, this is one of the reasons why this person is having a hard time trying to figure you out, Virgo, okay? Because you're kind of up, you're in, you're out. Oh my God, it's yes and it's no. Okay, stop then it's go. Okay, so there's a lot of mixed signals here, but I think you're basically playing off of what the energy that this person is giving you, okay? I think this is somebody that you would like to settle down with. However, I don't think that you trust this person fully, okay? They may have showed you some inconsistencies, showing that, you know, they may have taken you for granted, feeling like you're going to be here forever, 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 ever, forever, ever. And Virgo's like, not under these circumstances and conditions. How about no, okay? I know that there's something better out there for me, but check this out. I got love for you, but I love me more. But what we can do, we can see where this goes. But as something serious right now, I need to see how you're working, okay? I don't want to drop everybody else. Um, you know, drop some for sure's over here that I know some people want to work with me. They want the same thing for a maybe, okay? You may get right. You may get left, all right? I don't know. So, there's that. You will always have a place in my heart, though. Okay. Ooh, I was going to call you Leo. Virgo, did this person wait too long to come back? Did your feelings change? Should they have uh, addressed this relationship while you still care? I don't know. Kind of looks like you care, but it looks like you, you know, you got a chance to experience some other things out there. And you know your word. All right? Uh-oh. All right. Give me messages about this situation. Give me messages about this situation, please, and thank you. All right. Forgive. Somebody wants you to forgive them. The act of forgiveness releases tension. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to get back with this person, but okay. I forgive you. I know that you was going through some stuff. I was going through some stuff. That's not an excuse. However, I'm going to go ahead and let this go. All right. Looking ahead towards the future. Absolutely. Not staying stuck in the past. All right. So, let's see. Somebody wants to heal this connection here as well. Revitalize your heart. All right. Look at this. All right, in denial, see the truth of the situation, and this is what someone is doing. All right? Somebody was denying their feelings, and the other person's like, you know what? I know you see me standing here. I know you see me open. I know you see me receptive, and I know you see me getting ready to walk away. Oh, you don't think I'll walk? Watch this. Okay? Turn around. <laughs> Your person's like, turn your ass back around, <laughs> sit it down, okay, there's that, all right, your person is like, Virgo, where you going, uh-uh, you're not supposed to do that, you left for real, for real, oh, absolutely not, <laughs> let me quit tripping, let me go get my person, okay, because, yeah, I want a new beginning, okay, I'm not trying to let you go, what, can we come to a mutual understanding, okay, I screwed up. 
All right, let's let's get it together. Let's get back on the same page. <laughs> Turn around. I'm just saying. There's that, okay? All right, so also this person is possibly very um, spontaneous. You might be dealing with somebody that is very uh, outgoing, okay? This is a very adventurous person, okay? So you got to keep the spark alive, all right? There's that. All right, so this person might want to travel with you as well. All right, uh, ooh, this actually might be a karmic, so you got to be careful with this. All right, so this person may have been sent into your life to trigger some things um, for you, okay? Love may be just around the corner, could be, I don't know. But I'm going to tell you like this, pay attention to the red flags, pay attention to changed behavior or a behavior that is not changed, okay? And not just for the short term, for the long term, okay? And see if your person is willing to work with you. It takes two in a relationship, okay? Actually three, you, your person, and the most tie, okay? Be united for a good relationship, absolutely. That means you don't let other people infiltrate what you got going on, okay? Side pieces, exes parents, family, friends, and all of those things. You two work together, okay, in tandem. Your help meets, okay, so help each other grow, help each other learn, expand, and help each other learn how to love, okay, and be safe with each other, all right? All right, all right, all right, learn to forgive, but learn those lessons here, and if you see cycles repeating, you need to actually address that real quick, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's get some messages between you and this person. Now, I feel a lot of changed behavior here. So where someone here probably wasn't committal in the past, I think that they are now. They're reevaluating your connection here, okay? Let's see. Get in there. All right, give me four. Two for... Well, I want two for you and two for this person, but we'll see who's doing all the talking since somebody has a lot to say. I can't take it anymore. This separation is killing them, honey. And you're like, you know what? Is this you or him? Or them? It could be him, her. I don't know. I need to figure myself out. Okay? Yeah, somebody here needs to grow. And this is your person. All right? What is the truth? Large print is for your person. Small print is for you. Do you have anything to say? And I'm sorry, you guys. Odin is spinning around in his kennel back there. Oh, I am the man. Okay, so are you a feminine energy and you're taking the lead in this situation? You're not allowing this person to lead? All right. Baby, let this man do his job, okay? There's that. He's the man. Let him lead, okay? But I'm going to put it to you like this. We got to know where we going to. I need to know where you're leading me to, okay? There's that. Are we on the same agenda? Are we equally yoked? There's that, okay? But someone wants you to kind of take a, take a step back and let this person lead, okay? There's that. All right. I long for your kiss. Look at this. No one understands me but you. So you get this person. You could be dealing with a Leo. Leo's person got some of the same cards. All right. So it looks like this person is wanting to express themselves. Virgo, you could have been the type of person that was always trying to keep this connection together. Always trying to compromise. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk. Let's clear the air. You know, let's, let's get some clarity. What's going on here? You know, you're expressing how you feel. And now it kind of looks like you went QT. You went on quiet. Okay. And now this person is telling you the things that they should have said all this time. You're so different from everyone around me. Yeah, and there's, there's a trigger here. You may have triggered this person to grow. All right? And you're like, I'm ready for a commitment. However, I need to know that you're the right person for me. Okay? So you're telling this person you want a commitment. You want a serious relationship. However, you want to sit back and wait and see what this person is going to do. Okay? Now, you, this person may feel that you're giving them mixed signals, but what I see here is that, yeah, you are ready for a commitment. You want to settle down, but you're not ready to settle down with this mess that this person is offering you. Either offer, you know, a real commitment, a real relationship, a real marriage, you understand, a real partnership, or either move out the way and let me get with somebody that, you know, uh, is like-minded, someone that I'm equally yoked with, someone that's just not going to keep me in their life to play with me and waste my time because they don't want me to move on, 
okay there's that so virgo i think this is your stand and this person is saying life without you is hopeless dark and depressing i miss your light all right be careful that you do not have an energy vampire here okay virgo i think you're taking your time with this person and you want to see what they're you know what they're about are they coming with genuine intentions or are they coming in with selfishness? All right, give me messages for Virgo and this person, please, and thank you. Somebody want to make, they want to heal this connection. They want to make it balanced. They want equal give and take, and they want to make it fair. Somebody's coming in with a solid offer. They're not sure if you're going to take it here, sweetheart, so they're going to start off slow. They're coming in as a page, all right? But eventually, they want to give you this Ace of Cups, all right? They're ready to put in the work. They, they're ready for a successful connection here as well. All right. It looks like this person is determined to have a long-term relationship with you. It's been taking a minute for them to kind of, you know, come towards you here. This person has possibly been doing some inner work, some inner healing here. And also coming to terms with their behavior. And also looking at the fact that they possibly just lost one of the most precious people in their life. And you're irreplaceable. <laughs> right so somebody is coming in to tell you exactly how they feel and that they want to put in effort virgo will you accept my apology will you take me back can we try this again can we leave the past in the past and move forward i know that we have a connection once you used to love me do you think you can do it again i know if i give exactly what you were given we can have it all hmm. all right we could have had it all Rolling in the deep. All right, so there's love here. You still got love for this person. This person still has love for you, too. I think, Virgo, you think this person is a bit immature and a little bit impulsive. So this is another thing. Um, and it took you to get away from this person to realize this as well. All right. So in certain aspects, you still have love for this person. But also, you put your feelings to the side and started looking at this person from, you know, from a different perspective here, okay? Making head over heart decisions. Yeah, I got love for you, but I got love for me even more. And I know what I deserve, okay? And I'm not going to sit here and waste my time with you because with each passing moment, tick, 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 I am getting older and more of my life energy is being drained. So if you're not coming in correct, sweetheart, I will cut you off without a problem, okay? There's that. Anything else regarding this situation? Absolutely come in solid or don't come in at all i will make a judgment call real quick to exit stage left okay there's that anything else for this situation <laughs> somebody's got to make a decision here all right see the truth in the situation it is what it is if you're not equally yoked with someone sweetheart and you don't want to deal with this drama with this person that they're bringing in your life because we adults and over here we have an adult relationships okay but if this person isn't on the same plane sweetheart go ahead and bounce do what you need to do what's best for you all right we want equal give and take not bread climbing all right anything else the ten of pentacles you go after what brings you happy happiness stability peace all right, there's that. And I think this person is going to tell you that they want the same thing as well. Yep, definitely reunited. Okay, so look, someone here hasn't forgot about the hurt and pain that was caused in this connection either. All right, so it's got somebody a little distant here. All right, somebody wants to see uh, their person put in the work. All right, don't just talk about it, be about it. Baby, you got to walk it like you talk it. Hey, walk it like you talk it. That's what I'm talking about. Walk it like you talk it, right? If not, kick rocks. How about that? Make room for somebody else. Don't be a sea filler, a space saver, or whatever it is. You got to start move. You got to move and move it. Even if we're working together, it ain't working at all. All right, Virgo. So I like this for you and your person. All right, you do what you need to do for you, boo. Time waits for no one. And don't wait for us, sweetheart. It keeps right on rolling. Uh, Father Time is like, okay, you going to keep sitting there on that on that bench waiting for this person? You see they ain't got no act right yet? Yeah, you go ahead. You don't know how many days, how many hours, how many minutes, seconds, years you got left, okay? Go ahead and play with your time if you want to, okay? The next thing you know, you'll hear that ding, like that microwave bell. Time's up, all right? 
Stop playing with your life, all right? And don't allow other people to play with your time either, okay? How about that? You do what's best for you, boo. And I hope this works out for you. But if not, there's somebody else, okay? All right, my love. Y'all have a great day. And I'll fight.